हेलो गाइस दिस इज आकाश पटेल वेलकम टू द ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर वी विल शो सी दैट हाउ कैन वी डाउनलोड अ पर्टिकुलर फाइल फ्रॉम द यूआरएल सो लेट्स गो फॉर इट हियर आई हैव मेन डो स्टोरी बोर्ड ऑन माय स्क्रीन एंड जस्ट टेकन वन लेबल एंड वन बटन इन माय डॉट एच फाइल आई हैव two outlets for a label and for one button and there is one action for the button now before uh, anything we we will do further in the project just uh, verify in your project that in for.plist file you have added these two things in the uh, under the app transport security setting you have allowed the arbitrary loads so just verify before doing anything now we are using a ns url session to download the uh, download the file from the internet so in dot h file we have taken ns url session delegate and session data delegate you can see the data delegate method here we are going to use these two method did finish download and did write data did finish download will invoke when a download task is finished and this particular method data data total byte is return and uh, all these uh, things are useful when your download is in process and this method will be invoked continuously so now in dot uh, m file you can see these two methods are implemented right now i have just uh, pasted it from that uh, definition part now Uh, just create one object for ns url session and just name it my session now when user clicks on the start download button we are going to make a object for ns url configuration which will be used to define the url url session now session configuration just name it config and take default configuration now our my session will be initialized here as ns url session and session with the configuration with the delegate now you can pass the configuration object we have just created delegate self and uh, operation queue will be our main operation queue i'm sorry now once our session is initialized uh, we need to create one download task to download to fetch the content from the url and uh, write it on the device location so just create a download task just name it task for now and uh, my session download task with url you can pass the actual url from which you are going to download your data so just write down ns url and url with string i have ready my url here so i'm just copying and pasting it in a project okay so here is my url and uh, my url contains one uh, audio file you can it can be anything like a uh, mp4 video or any pdf file or anything you want to download from the web now our label needs to change when download process is uh, running in the background so in this particular method we will uh, start the coding here if you see 
here uh, all the things uh, uh, which will be given by this method bytes return total bytes return and total bytes expected to write all three are in the bytes not in kilobytes or mb so i need these things in the mb so i will convert this in the mb so i will take one float object float object uh, naming uh, total size and uh, it will be total size expected to write divided by 1024 which will eventually convert it into the kilobyte and again dividing with 1024 will convert it into the megabyte and again float object uh, for return size So here we are ready with two variables now just use that variable to change the label I'm passing the return size and the total size here you can see that now when the download is completed uh, this method will be fired so just change the label at that time so I am adding the download complete here sorry for the background noise just ignore it and as it is done just run the program you can see here the label and the button on the pressing of that button downloading process will be start you can see that 6.38 MB is the total size of the audio and uh, here is the downloading status and when the download process is completed here we can see that label changing now how you know that downloader is done and uh, the file is actually available in your device location so here is the uh, clue uh, this location this URL is the actually path of your directory uh, is the path of your uh, file which is downloaded on your device but mind well this is the temporary part not the permanent uh, location path so when you kill the app from the background uh, and again reopen the app this will erase the file anything in, on that location so when the download process is completed you what you need to do that uh, just move that particular file or data which you have downloaded from the web to this uh, from this per temporary location to one permanent location for that you need to create one path your own path which is permanent not temporary so I am just taking my path which will contain the string of uh, my device path so here I am going to use initialize that string I am going to use the NS document directory uh, means I am going to save my uh, downloaded file to the document directory which will be the permanent location for my for my downloaded file so here just pass the document directory here and here NS user domain mask and just uh, pass the value yes here and uh, actually this uh, all the code will return the one array so I'm going to use only the first index so uh, object so here object or the index and pass the value 0 now string by appending string which will actually uh, create one path whole path actually uh, now 
from your download URL which we have downloaded let's take it as a macro it will be very helpful here so I'm just creating one macro here and naming it download URL okay and copying this download URL everywhere when I need to use that particular uh, URL okay so it's done now and here also we will use that same URL with the se component separated by string forward slash which will separate the all the components uh, which we have which have a forward slash in between and uh, we will use the only last object as a file name so here we have our path ready our permanent part permanent path sorry now we will move the downloaded file so we will need a ns file manager create object file m and ns file manager default manager here and just write the file m move item at url here you are getting the url so just pass, pass the location and to url which is our permanent path so go for it my path and we are not handling any error right now so it will be nil okay our file is moved to the permanent location now and uh, sorry here it's a url so we will need to write here and it's url url with string and my path okay that's it now uh, as i know it is an audio file we are going to play it so just put one button to play the downloaded audio sorry okay and i'm going to just apply auto resizing here and creating one action for it here is one audio I'm really very sorry for my background voices but uh, I'm actually have less for that so you can see one action is created here one method play audio now what we are going to use we are simply initializing uh, it with the AV player we are going to use the AV player here so just import the AV foundation dot h as well as AV kit here now I'm going to create AV player item item with the URL and we are going to pass the our downloaded path file path so with string and my path is here create one player here Clear with item and pass the item here and just simply write clear play now run the program okay just uh, let me change one thing here I am going to take this AV player object as my global object not a local object uh, sorry for it actually there is one mistake in the coding so when you are passing a file uh, path as a url then you need to write a file path with url not the url with string so here it will be one change and uh, again when you are creating you are moving your file from the temporary location to one permanent location 
then again you are writing the same code that and now let's run the program okay now start the download process okay now I'm going to play the audio so you can hear it is the audio which is downloaded just downloaded from the URL thank you very much guys that's all from my side and if you have any query any suggestions or anything just let me know comment and please do subscribe thank you so much guys thank you